Good evening everybody. Um, so we left this yesterday after we'd done all the paper and I think I was telling you about this. This is the really cool um, mask that I was telling you about by Tando Creative um, and it is called the Distorted Hive and I don't know, I'm hoping you can see that, but how cool is that? So what I did off camera last night was I went ahead and used this Viva Structure Paste which is really good actually, it's thicker than the modelling paste that I had before, it's got like a really gritty, it kind of looks jellyfied in there, but it's got a really gritty, sandy texture and I really like that. So I went ahead and used the mask up here, across like, maybe the wrong way, I don't know, something like that, somewhere up there, to put that on. It didn't work quite perfectly, there's a few gaps where I think I left the mask on for too long because I've run out of one lot of paste and started using another, but never mind. And then I noticed that we have these corrugated cardboard bits across the bottom, so I simply cut some out to roughly the right size um, so that we could stick them on there, and then I spritzed those with Lindsay Stamp Gang Gossamer Gold and Teal, which is uh, it's not a Lindy, it's a different one. It's the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist Chalkboard in Teal High Heel. Um, and then I sprayed a bit more of the gold over the top to tone it down a little bit. Then the other thing that I looked at doing last night was this, as you can see in here. So we've got a corrugated cardboard bit here, here and in the back. So I've just cut that to size and ripped around that one. And then same for the top and same for the bottom. And for those, I have just spritzed those ever so slightly with a handmade um, handmade glimmer mist that I made from mica powders. So what we're going to do now is just stick all those on. And I don't know what trims or anything I'm going to be using yet, so we might end up ripping those off again. Who knows? But for now... Okay, let's stick them on. So that is for that side. Mm -hmm. We're back with the fabric tack again. We are actually going to spritz um, spray over the top of this. Um, but as I said, I'd ordered a new spray that I quite want to use. So I'm going to wait for that to arrive before I do that. And then you never know, we might end up spraying over these again as well. So that's that one. Squash that a bit. Look. And that's actually coming unstuck from its base piece there. So we'll stick that back down too. The thing with the corrugated card, well the stuff I've got if you don't dry it, is that um it can separate as you just saw. So heat drying that might be a good idea. So I think I have three process videos uploaded now. Um, the fourth one's on its way. And we're going to do a little bit of this this evening. It's Sunday now. And then we're not going to do some more till tomorrow. I've spent a bit of time with my family today, with my children and my husband. It's been quite nice weather, so we went out on a really nice walk and then stopped by the pub for a drink and some pudding, as you do. And they're in bed now, so taking the time to just get a little bit of this done. So that is about right on there. And oh, there we go. So what I'm actually thinking for these inside bits is I might want to run around them with some vintage photos, but bear with me a second, I'll grab that. And let's see, I'm going to put that back, I usually, like I said yesterday, store this upside down, so. I have, like I said, I have spritzed it lightly with just a homemade, um, spray made from mica powder, mica, mica, however you say it, powder, um, but it's just mainly a shimmer rather than a, rather than a colour. 
So today, my husband was very kind and let me do a little bit of internet shopping. And I bought a new uh, paper pad and some coordinating embellishment type things. So I'm quite excited for that to come for another project another day. And then I started having a think about um, what I might want in these compartments. And I found one thing, but other than that, I'm still completely none the wiser. So I'm going to need to go through and through my stash and have a look and see what I've got that will fit where and if I've got any quite small trims and stuff, because I know I don't have very many small trims. Which is one of these I cut ever so slightly shorter so that it would sit on top of the back bit. So I'll put this one in first. I have a bigger um, bigger bottle of Fabri-Tac which I sort of decant into this smaller bottle because I find the smaller bottle easier to work with than the bigger bottle. And then we are going to put the back bit in. I just tore that, literally just tore it across the top because it kind of looks like it's torn on the on the paper that's in there, so just adds a bit more, uh, a bit more texture and a bit more dimension to the paper. And then this bottom one. Yeah. So I hope you've all been having a very nice weekend. And we've all had some crafting time and some family time. We've certainly had a very nice weekend and my children have been on um, like school holidays. I don't know what you call that where you are, depending on where you are and where you're watching. Um, that's when they're off, off school for sort of a week or so. So they've been off, well, my eldest obviously that's at school, my little one isn't yet, has been off school and for the past week. And she has a teacher training day tomorrow, so she goes back to school on Tuesday. Which, as much as I love her, will be lovely. It'll be nice to get my routine and my day back to myself. So there we go. So we have now stuck some corrugated card in there. And we have stuck some corrugated cards on the back there and there. And then, like I said, we're going to spritz that once. Um, I love this. So sandy. So, the next question we have is, what are we going to fill this box with. Now I do have some wood pieces that I got which are which are dominoes so I have that that's a big one and I have some small ones as well so my first thoughts on this particular compartment to help as you can see is going to be to put some dominoes in so I've actually inked around the edge of this and then I've used stickles on the numbers so I'm just going to switch off quickly and see if I can find some smaller ones of those um, and we'll get those ready. Okay, I got them and I got my stickles and my glossy accents whilst I was there. So I'm going to start with this one just because I've already done the stickles on this one. And I'm going to run over this in some glossy accents. I tend to find that um, with my embellishments, other than flowers, unless they're white and I spray them, I actually alter more or less all of my embellishments as well. I don't just alter the, you know, the particular project I'm doing. I tend to alter all the embellishments, which is probably why most things take me so long. Right, that's that one. Put that over there to dry. And I'm going to add a little bit of stickles to these. I tried to find three that had them. Um, had different numbers on them so they didn't all look the same.
So I've still not decided whether or not I'm going to use that big dream word that I showed you all before. And the reason for that being is that, I don't know if you remember if I told you in the, I think in the first video or the second video that there was something that I wanted specifically to use in the very big compartment, this one here. Um, and I don't know whether or not it'll arrive. It has been dispatched now. I've got a dispatch notice, so it may well arrive on time. Who knows? And if it does, then I will go ahead and use that if it works. So that is the stickles on those. We need to wait for... Okay, I didn't realise that my memory stick was full when I was happily talking away to myself. Um, so I just put the stickles on the um, little domino pieces. Um, and I've gone ahead now and covered those in glossy accents so they are all at one side drying then I have got a load a load of stuff out that I figured that we could possibly use for this um, and I've also very quickly made this little flower here out of that piece of paper that I really liked it didn't go too well because I didn't um, space these out quite well enough but still looks quite pretty so what I thought I would show you now is how I made this little filigree, I'm just going to move this slightly, how I made this into one of the metal flowers that I used before. So we have three layers on this and the first thing we're going to do is take the first layer, move two of the petals out of the way and then bend two of the petals together and then push those in. And we're going to do the same with this side and this side. Lift them up a bit. I'm hoping you can see this okay. Bend them together and then push them in. And then we have this second layer here and to get to the second layer we have to bend the first layer back a bit. And with these, all we're going to do is, and I'm not entirely sure why, but for some reason these have all got bits of uh, cardboard type stuff in them. We are going to bend all of these up. But I think the best thing to do is bend these up with my fingers. And then once we've bent them up, what we do is go along the edges and bend them all back slightly. And this is one of the metal filigrees I used to make the flowers on my um, on my lamp, my steampunk lamp. So we bent all those back. Then we're going to do the same with the outside edge. We're going to push them all up, and then we're going to bend the ends of all of these back slightly. And this is going to make a really cute three-dimensional metal flower and as I'm bending them back I'm also pushing them in and up and then we'll just rearrange those slightly and there we go <coughs> so that there can go in my box so the other thing I did was go through and sort out the ephemera packs and look at all these lovely little things that I can use. There's some really cool cool things here. We've got a few sentiments. We've got a moment to remember. We've got memories. Good times. And some others as well. Then I got out some laces and some trims and what have you. And I don't have very many small ones. Now what I had done before was bought this which is supposed to go the lyric collection. So I thought some of the brown ones in here might look quite nice on this but I don't know if they're separate or if they're all stuck together or what but I guess we're all going to find out together I'm assuming that they're self-adhesive they do rather look self-adhesive I think that they're all attached if I could get the corner off I'd let you know <coughs> but you might already know because you might have used these things before you might be more prepared than I am Yes, they are all attached. So we need the scissors to cut those out. And the question is, have I buried the scissors under here somewhere? Most of the flowers I think I'm going to use for this have actually come from Craft Supplies 1. As I said before, I was really pleased with my order. I have these. 
which are the latex covered flowers and these are amazing I love these they feel so good and they go really nicely with the colour scheme in here and then I have these which are just the plain ones which I've covered in the same spray that I use for the corrugated cardboard just a handmade mica spray these brown ones which are also latex covered flowers really nice some of the porcelain roses with the um, porcelain centres and the paper outside um, colour lilies and I have these big huge acrylic clear acrylics and then the small ones I have some of the latex flowers in a darker blue not sure if I'll use that or not but we'll work that out these black ones these are cool I like these and these ones which you'll see better when I get them out but these are one of my favourites I love these must order some more of these so now it's buried under here somewhere on my scissors and I've got to try and find them so I can cut this crystal sheet apart okay <coughs> so I left them in the kitchen it's my sensible place for the scissors to be obviously I don't know how well this is going to work never tried this before so as I said, I'm giving this a go together. Um, we're going to see what happens. Don't know how sticky these are going to be either. I don't know whether these are going to adhere quite nicely by themselves or whether they're going to need something extra. That's got an overlap between the black and the golden colour there. Hmm. We'll see on that one. Okay, well, we've got a double line, so we'll see what we think we might want to do with this. I think. Move some of this out of the way. I think that this might look quite nice. I've got so much stuff out, honestly, I can barely move. Right, okay. Cross. Quite liking it on there actually. I'm going to cut this again, make this a single strand. And then I guess we'll find out quite how sticky it is. Should have cut a single strand off the big sheet rather than trying to do just the one. Da, da, da. Again, talk amongst yourself, so I shall try not to cut my fingers off. Right. So, we're going to have to go there to there. this a go shall we see what happens we can always pull it off if we don't like it oh <laughs> just trying to get the backing off which I think might be easier said than done hmm <laughs> sorry ah got it okay Okay. Makes quite a nice change to flat back pearls. Which is what I would usually run along the sides of things. Quite like that. Now where's the bit I just cut off? Shout, can you see it? Anyone else see it? Is that it? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> now the only problem that we're going to have is that little gap there. Do we mind about that little gap there? Do we mind? Can we overlap it slightly? What do you reckon to cut one of these in half? Do you reckon that'll work? Oh yes, it does. If we cut one in half, then we should be able to overlap it slightly. Okay, 
has the same problem now, so I've got to get the back off. Oh, that one came off a lot easier. And we have made a start. Not a very big start, but we have made a start. Then I need to work out next which um, which trims I want to use. I don't have very many small trims. Most of them are quite big, so it's quite difficult to make that decision. Hello, darling. <laughs> My husband's here being Wally. what he's doing behind the camera because <laughs> I don't think you want to know. Um, okay, so what have we got? We have got this one and we have got this one. And we have this. Obviously I will need to colour whichever one of these or ones of these I decide to use. See, now I like this one, but I'm thinking this might be a bit too big. Oh, we might put a bit of that there. Do we like that there? Is that going to... That's going to block off the... Uh, thing too much. Might work there. Not sure how well this is going to stick, you know. That might come back off. We'll find out. We'll work it out as we go along. Oh, I quite like that. It's quite pretty. And we could run the blue green ribbon up the inside of there. I've got this spoon. Um I got this at a car boot fair for like no money at all. And I just pulled out the thing that was in here. And in the ephemera pack there are some little pieces that might fit. That one's too big, but there were some like that for example, and then I could just cover it in glossy accents or something and I thought that might look quite nice somewhere on here. that works quite well. I'm going to start um, just putting pieces down and trying to work out I think where I want to where I want to put them. I quite want that hanging there. Put that in there for now. I also quite liked the idea of using this which could go I'm not sure. Okay. Um a Kaiser Craft one. And we like this one that says love this. We like that one. So I just got some really, really lovely comments from Leonie, who is my passion for paper. I am quite sure you all know who she is, but if you don't, pop over and say hello. Really, really, really lovely lady. And she recently did a video, sort of some person, more slightly more personal information about herself. And I tell you what, from what she tells you in that video, she sounds like an absolutely amazing person, and I'm quite in awe of her. So I was very, very grateful that she popped over and had a look at my videos, these process videos, and said hello. So from these, I'm quite liking the sideways butterfly. Not sure where, but... I've got a small... That would look quite nice there. And then... The only um, vials I've got are these little tiny ones. So I, want, I know I want to use one of these, but I think I need to purchase myself some bigger ones. Because they are dwarfed in this box. In this huge box. Oh, see? Can't even get it out. Keep that there a minute. 
Okay. These are the Prima Shabby Chic Treasures. And the ones that I was thinking I might use from here are the window shutters. You know, just understanding how my brain works right now. So what I do is get out everything and <laughs> work it out as I go along. I can't get these unstuck from the card. Cardboard, let's see. Pulled half the cardboard off. If I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Now, on either side of one box would work. I can't get the other one off now, look. Okay, answers on a postcard, please, as to how the heck you're supposed to get these things off. Right. See, now either side of one of the boxes, I think, would look really good for those. But that seems too wide to me. Too wide. Don't like it. What about in the... in the K? Not loving that. Not sure. Put those back for now. Before we know it, we'll have gone through my whole stash. I won't like anything. <laughs> and this will be it. You know what? I don't think I like those, um, those gems. I don't think I like them at all. And yeah, they're not stuck very well at all. Oh, well that one wasn't... No, there we go. I'm going to leave those to one side and see if I decide to use those later. Okay, so... That might work if the thing that I've got coming doesn't fit there. And that goes quite nicely with that paper, so we'll put that in there for now. This is a Prima Shabby Chic Treasure, and this is one that I had started for my um, my lamp before I decided I didn't want to use silver, so I've sort of bent it all up a little bit. Bent these inside bits up a bit. So I think I might put a, um, a bead or something in the in the centre of that and use that somewhere. There's something else we can use. This is the flower I just made. I still haven't decided if I'm going to use my sign across the bottom yet. Because if I do, it's going to block out a lot of this compartment. So, as easily see. Okay, what else have we got that we would like to use? This is cool. Now that could hang somewhere, but maybe over the edge of something. But if we're going to have this one hanging here, we probably don't want two hanging things next to each other. Might be a bit much. Now, where is the frame? I wanted to use this. Oh, I like that there. Quite a nice angle for that. I like that there. Okay. If I put that there, I can't have the hanging. But we could have the hanging. No, I don't like it next to that. Because we use that. Don't want it next to that. Hmm. Okay. So I might have this, which is really cool, and I want to use some of this somewhere. This is like the coolest burlap trim I've ever seen in my life. I used some of this in a lighter colour on the um on the lamp. But it's just so so cool. I love this look. Can you even see that? There we go. So I know I want to use that somewhere. I'm wondering actually if about putting it over the top of one of the boxes so that you can see what's behind it. That'd look good. Maybe on Yeah, the crooked one, Cal. The one with a weird angle. I like to make life difficult. So I like that. So that's a definite 
possibility. Mm, what else do I have out here that I'm thinking I would like to use? got some cheesecloth, but I don't want to use it in white. I want to spray that as well. I'm kind of holding off on spraying anything until the new colour that I mentioned, sorry for the rustling, um, arrives, to be honest. I don't really want to um, spray anything until my new colours come, because I don't know what my um, whether or not it's going to go, what I'm going to do with it. These are quite cool. We've got the little tiny flowers in there. The butterfly. That would go quite nicely, actually. And I've got these. Love, life, wish, hope, find, muse, time, hold, kiss, life, play, and known. I think if I use dream, if I do use the big dream, I might use the wish as well, because I like that. Okay. So, okay everybody here is where we're at I've had a play um, I've moved some stuff around I've got some more stuff out put some stuff away and I've worked out that this is currently where we're at the only thing I've actually stuck down so far is a little bow that I made in here under the um, lace up corset bit I've left the ends really long for now because I might do something else with those not too sure then I have this spool and this bit of trim here which I really like and I'm thinking that I may spray that with whichever colour I choose and put that in there, stick that round and then have a bit sort of hanging over, not that long but maybe to something like that. I've um, got a chest piece out which fits in here, this kettle that I showed you earlier. I've got this little clock which is really cool which I got for free actually at a car boot fair when I bought something else because it was broken which fits quite nicely in there and there's some cheesecloth under there so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to make a start on applying some trim so this trim I have sprayed this with um, Lindy's Stamp Gang, Tiffany Blue, Gossamer Gold and Seagrass Green to kind of get the colour that I was looking for and I have decided that I am going to stick that along there and then that piece across the top there. So I think that'll look quite nice. So we're going to give that a go. See how it comes out, see how it comes along now. Which bit do I want to overlap which bit is the question. Do I want that piece on first with that one overlapping or the other way around? I think I want the other one underneath. So I'm just going to run a line of Fabri-Tac up here. I might do the sideways one as well actually and stick them on when we're ready. I don't want to stick them along the centre of the dots. I want it to overlap slightly. And then this way, same thing. I want it to overlap slightly and I can always trim the edges off after if I decide that I don't like those on these side bits here. Okay, and then I was thinking that I would run along that either some bead trim or some bling trim, which of course I've just turned on the camera but I've lost the bead bling trim already. Oh, there it is. got some bits that I've already got cut out so that might work quite nicely there just one too long along there <coughs> and then a bit to go in the other direction which needs to be how long to there
run another line of glue along. try and stick that actually on the edge but it doesn't come off. I've gone slightly too far over actually. On the edge. And the same here. Just leave a bit of a gap there. Too much. Okay, I think I quite like that. I'm just going to hold that up and have a look. Yes, I do. I quite like that. Okay, then I am going to try and work on this top compartment because I've got my um, all my Domino's glossy accented as I showed you before, and then I've got this flower which I've sprayed in Emerald City Green, and then these two little ones which I sprayed with um, Seagrass Green. I just wanted to cut the ends off those a little bit. And what I might have to do actually is stand this up, which means you won't be able to see it, but I can come back and show you it in a minute. Um, okay. So we want that one in the back corner. Fab, we like that there. Then, did I just do with the little flowers, people? Can you see them? Oh, goodness, do you know what? I have so much stuff out here that I can't see where I've put anything. There's the green one. And the ones I just cut the ends off are where? Um, answers on a postcard? Again, same as earlier. I have this little piece uh, from the ephemera pack as well that I quite like, which I'm thinking I might use. Where are the flowers gone? Okay, seriously. I know I'm a bit mad, but I don't think I'm quite that mad. Okay, 